Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, I'm drinking coffee in the afternoon. Coffee is good for you. Today, we are making for dinner... What is it called? Goulash. 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 Yes, my nurse is helping me. Goulash. Vegetables. Onion. Infused with garlic and ginger. Let me turn that around for you. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting there. Barbecue spice. Oregano. Mixed spice. Basil. More basil. No. Mixed herbs. Basil. Thyme. More mixed herbs. Well, I think I put too many mixed herbs there. And black pepper. You know what? My black pepper is empty. So I'm going to go to Cornwall tonight and I'm going to give away my food and I'm going to get black pepper from them. And of course salt and olive oil, I mean sunflower oil, which is heating up in the stove. And it's going to be served with rice, which is already cooked. This is Christmas. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. He's helping me out today. And here's the phone over to Christmas. So, first of all, on the heated up oil, we're going to tuck in the onions. And then they go. And with the onions, they're going to cook a while. And I'm going to drink my delightful coffee. This Christmas made for me, because Christmas is amazing. A sip of that. And we need to turn around the onions and make them fry a little bit better. Onions, onions, onions. Grab the stove a bit. Turn it on up. Now that's down. Is that down or is it up? I think that's up. I lost my knob in my stove. Doesn't matter, like that, but it still works fine. And then you tuck in the goulash. Goulash does take quite a while to eat. I mean, quite a while to cook. But you can tuck it in now. Get it nice and brown and stir it on up now with a spoon because it's a non stick it's not a non stick frying pan. So you can use a normal knife or not a knife, a spoon in a fork. Don't use this for the non stick frying pan. It'll scratch the hell out of it. And you don't want to lose money. Well I don't. And twist it up. No! Spice time! A bit of barbecue spice. And in it goes. About two teaspoons of that. Well, this a bit of the end. Oregano, again. A teaspoon of that. And it starts to come out. There we go. Mixed spice, not herbs. Mixed spice. This stuff needs to be quite spicy. What are the hot spicy, but quite spicy stuff because it's, it takes a lot to cook and the flame is all in here. See, basil? Not too so much of this, about half a teaspoon. That's enough. Stir around it. This one with the fork because that's all I have to have. And that's about it. Today I read the mandates, which is nice because they're such a shame. Time. You know, my nurse is Tina, but that's actually time, by the way. Just so, and time is really good for most things. Especially red meat. It's not so good for chicken, though. What I can do, but yeah, you know, it's very good with red meat. About two teaspoons of that. You think if I do it like this. Mix herbs down. Less spicy. Mix herbs. I got it on. About two teaspoons of that. 
and finally, you would have had this duct tape out, but because we made this point about it, and give me a figure, and I'm sure they made this point about it mine. Give me a bit of duct tape Now everything is going up quite nice. By the way, I'm using garlic in my dish, and mostly see garlic. But never, ever, ever crush garlic because it loses the flavor. Always, always crush garlic because it doesn't lose the flavor. Or the aroma, which is bloody amazing, I think. Um, things are getting nicely browned up, but they're still going to be browned. So, I think it's coffee time. I am a coffee fanatic. And I'm a very much a coffee fanatic. I do not drink the with coffee or Crisco. Crisco for me is a devil. So a mess of hair decades all the way. Or even better is um, coffee beans or filter coffee. That is good. Give me a cappuccino any day. But, obviously I, they are just a bit more expensive. But they are well worth the money. What are you using? Yes, what? I think it's nicely brown. Yes, it is. So, you can leave it on high. The perfect thing to compost me, well, added extra, is some frozen veg because actually they last like longer and they're just as good. So, you need to add about this much frozen veg. It's about half a cup. And don't forget to add water. It's about half a cup of water, boiling water. And there we go. And stir it on up. And then you turn it on to medium heat. It does get a little bit hot without the knob. is fine. Then put a lid on it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes and Bob's your uncle. Enjoy your meal or dinner tonight. And this is served with rice which we've already cooked and pretty much you have a full meal. Starch, protein and veg and you're all sorted. Enjoy your night.